I am Lord Charlie Mordecai. So Mordecai definitely lives in his own world. Tell me a little bit about developing the characters within that world. Developing Mordecai, I mean, he's very he's very different from the book. The book, he's kind of paunchy and curly hair. And, but I don't know, for some reason, I just kept seeing this blonde hair. And it sort of said a lot to me, you know, the blonde hair meant that he was vain. And uh, thank you. And <laughs> <laughs> Three months ago, a Spanish museum sent a Goya painting to be cleaned. The painting has disappeared. And you would like me to find it? Precisely. What is in it for me, as they say? Do it for queen and country. No. How did you feel the first time that you saw Johnny on set as Mordecai? Was that the first time you saw him do it full out? Yeah, I mean, what what happens with Johnny is you you talk about a character and you 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 know, you feel that you're talking about the same guy. You kind of get an idea of what he's going to do, but you never really know what he's going to do until the first day and the first take, and then he unveils this character. I tell you, I've never had more fun on a film set <laughs> in all of my life. I didn't know what he was going to do until he started talking, and then I started laughing. I actually once, um, we were, were laughing off set, and he laughed, no, we were on set, but he laughed so much that his... Uh, moustache yeah. flew off <laughs> for four <for>, yeah. <laughs> Please, you know I have a sympathetic grief. Did you guys have a hard time leaving set and going back to Johnny and Paul? Did you take the characters with you at all? I, I dropped mine because I was basically um, ripping off Jerry, who is uh, Johnny's security <laughs> guy. <laughs> is that true? I, I'm just finding that out. <laughs> <laughs> Is this where the body was found? What are you doing? Oh, no, to the left a bit. Yeah. Sorry, I'm into the right. To the left. Yes. Oh, Charlie. 